Hello artists, this is Miss Flavia and in this video we are going to create a lovely lovely art for Valentine's. It's going to be super cute and we're going to use accessible supplies such as drawing pencils, eraser, um, pencil sharpeners, color pencils and markers or just color pencils or just markers, okay? So I'm going to switch my camera, you guys will be able to see my hands and I'm going to show you what we're going to need and how we can get started. So any piece of paper is a good piece of paper. Um, I have this small pad over here, mixed media paper. This is a eight and a half inches by five and a half inches. Um, any, if you're not using markers, you can even use your, your printer, uh, copy paper from your printer. Um, if you're using marker, then just put something under the paper so it doesn't bleed through the paper. We're gonna do first a sketch with our pencil, have maybe a couple of erasers here, just different types of erasers, and then a pencil sharpener, and it's always good to have around. And then I have a set of color pencils over here and markers. I recommend these brands, Ohuhu, because they are accessible, um, not super expensive. They have really good selection of colors. They come in smaller or bigger packages so you can pick. And then the Prismacolor Premier is a good brand. It's a good type of uh, Prismacolor because they're very soft and smooth. So to get started today, we are gonna start by understanding the, the space we have on our paper. And for this one, I wanna draw a heart, like just that romantic kind of heart that we use as a symbol of love. And then I'm gonna have a teddy bear holding that, that heart. So I don't want the heart to be super big, but I can't have it too small. So I'm gonna use what we usually do uh, to understand the space, which would be the placement marks. When we're holding our pencil, if you hold it really close to the to the lead, we're gonna get like a darker line and put more pressure. So since this is our sketch, I'm gonna use my hands holding this on the middle towards the end. And I have this line. So this is where, this is how wide I want my heart to be. Cause then I have the hands and the arms of the bear holding this. And this is maybe as low as I want the heart to be. So just by putting these placement marks, if I find a position right in the middle, I know hearts are gonna be symmetrical. One side is gonna look the same as the other one. And I don't want you guys to worry about, oh my gosh, it doesn't look exactly like Miss Flavia or that doesn't look symmetrical. It's okay, maybe the bear is holding it too tight on one side. So just be okay with it. And if you feel like maybe you want to use something as a cutout, see if you have anything that is shaped as a heart and you can trace it. So for me, I'm gonna freehand because I'm okay with not being perfect, not being exactly the same. I'm gonna go on one side and down, make a little pointy. I'm gonna put a little bit more pressure on my pencil so you guys can see through the camera, but I want you guys to exercise having a very light touch. And then on the other side, I'm gonna to try to go the same way. And I can look it back again and see if there's any correction that I need to make. So one side is very different than the other. So I'm going to try now to adjust, especially because I have that spiral over here. It's not making it easy on my hands. I just need to make it okay. So on this one, I thought I just needed to open up a little bit more of the space. Again, I am really not looking for that perfect, perfect symmetrical heart. I just wanted to do my best. And that's all we, we can give, right? Is our best. So I want you guys to relax. You can have maybe a heart that is taller, a heart that is a little bit wider. It doesn't matter. Just do what makes you happy and put your best in what you do. Okay. So once we have our heart, and if I'm going too fast, if you're still in time, just press the pause button. And then when you're ready, just press play again. So now I'm going to have a little bear right uh, on the back, uh, actually behind the heart, holding the heart. But I want this bear to be a little bit bigger. I don't want a tiny little bear because I don't want this heart to um, really take over the entire paper. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to draw almost like an upside down U shape or half circle, but it's going to be more than half um, right at the top. So this is going to be the bears, the teddy bears um, head. 
again, there's no such thing as a perfect circle, but if you want to make it like super, super perfect circle, you can use something that is round and just outline it. You can just um, use something to help you as you trace this. Then we're going to go for the ears. They have the same shape as the head and they can get bigger. And then the inside will look like this or make it smaller. So I did the, this one first and I thought it was maybe a too, too small. Now I made the line almost like little arches um, coming at the top. Then we can move to the eyes. You can make the way you want it. There's no, I'm gonna make more like little beans on each side. I'm gonna try to keep the same size for the eyes. Then we're gonna go for the nose, which is almost like a, a more rounded upside down triangle. That's it. And then the cut right here for the mouth and have one and two. Looks like a big bear. So go ahead. So now we're gonna go for the hands or the paws are gonna be holding the, um, the heart on this side. We're gonna simplify this. We're gonna make it super simple. So I'm gonna make this oval shape, not super big, but right here overlapping. There's a little bit showing on the heart, a little bit here. And then from that side, you have the option to bring it close to the head, almost like this is a little shoulder or the little, maybe the elbow is right there. And everything I do on one side, I'm going to repeat on the other side. So I want to make sure that it's lined up. Try to keep the shape and the size similar. This one is looking way smaller. If not, just go back again and start over. Okay, I think this is kind of a, as similar as it can get. And then I bring the line here for the show. Good. We're going to do some cleanups. If you guys want to, we can actually do the cleanup now. So since this bar is right at the top, is in front of the heart because it's holding, then I can erase that line over there. And it comes here. And then on the same side, the same way, just get this line cleaned. And I got it. Now we can do the same thing for the for the for the legs right here holding for the paws that we have right here. Usually we're going to see a little bit bigger one. So I'm going to make the same shape but slightly bigger. And they're going to be diagonally right here. Still have the little pointy heart and the other one right there. I'm going to try my best to make it look even if one is on the side a little bit more the other one and that's okay depending on how the beer, and I'm gonna bring this in down and I bring this and up on the side. So we also have the legs. I think I'm gonna adjust this. It's too diagonal, it's too different than the other one. So we can adjust. I think I'm doing the same thing again. <laughs> I'm gonna be okay with that. Okay, maybe bring it here like this. And then the same thing we did on the front paws, we have it right at the top. We are going to erase that line here and here. So now we have a better shaped, adjusting my lines, a better shaped uh, bear holding that Beautiful, big, and lovely heart. We still have that pointy heart over there. I'm going to bring a little bit closer. So, and then we can make the paw prints. Maybe do one and two and three. And then right in the middle, if you want to shape as a heart, that would be lovely too. I'm just going to keep the same paw print inspiration. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Ha ha. 
inside the heart, you can write something. Maybe you want to say, I love you. Um, let me put the I. Draw another heart. And then do the letter U. You can say love, anything you want to write, or even leave it blank. So I have my beer. And it's going to be up to you guys if you want to start with color pencils, if you want to do markers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have um, the bear is going to be color penciled, just the fur, because I want to do a little bit of a texture on the fur. The heart is going to be marker. And then I haven't decided yet on the background. So the first thing that I want to do, and then maybe at the very end, I'll outline it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the heart. Let me try it out and see. I'm going to get a marker. I want to try to see here if I have enough ink on this one. Not much. It's always good to test and see because sometimes if you run out of ink right in the middle of your beautiful heart, you may not be so happy about it. this one. I have it. Okay. So what I like to do first, I'm going to outline what everything that the heart's going to be. So right here outside of the paw lines, right here. Because I know everything inside that it's going to be red. I'm going to have to fill in. I'm going to gently make that outline following the pencil lines that I put it there. I'm not going to worry with whatever is written there because I can go over later. And now I'm going to use the broad side, always following the shapes that I see. As we get to smaller spaces, you can stop. Get this like this. Try not to go over back and forth at the same on the same space. And just take your time. This one is already running out of ink as well. But I think we'll be okay. Okay. So I have a lot of small little spaces that I can patch. So I'm going to use the other side instead of me going over and over and over because I don't want to make it. I want this to be smooth and I want the colors to be very similar throughout the heart. And if you go like chick, 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 like this, it's not really good practice. And not only we ran out of ink faster, we damage our marker, but our work doesn't look really complete and like we gave our best. And that's all we can do, right? Give our best, let's try our best. Filling in. No blank space. I'm really excited to be what you guys are doing at home. Super excited to see what kind of bear or even another animal, if you turn out your bear to be, uh, I don't know, maybe a monkey. I had a student doing a tiger. Um, maybe you have a cat with a big tail on the background. Use your imagination. There's nothing that... I mean, anything that you want to do, anything you want to have in here, it will be fantastic. If you want to have maybe somebody like a person more cartoonish holding the heart, that's also a great idea. I think the teddy bear makes it look really, really lovely and cute, especially for um, if you want to turn into a cart where you write something on the, bot, on the back. So anyway, I think I'm done with this and this is kind of, it's running out of ink a little bit. So I'm not gonna try to touch up this side over here. Now I'm gonna go for the bear and I wanna use color pencil for the bear. And looking at some of the skin shades that I have in here, I really like that caramel over here. I think this one may be a really cool shade. So I think I'm gonna go with that one. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to outline it first, putting a lot of pressure on my pencil. Every line that I know is going to be bare, I'm going to go over with that color. 
I think I, I picked a good color. It looks like chocolate to caramel, peanut butter. It's going over, putting good pressure. So I really see the dark line over here. And your bear doesn't have to have the same color or your animal that, that I'm using. Um, any color is going to be a good color, right? It comes from your imagination. Use your, your inspiration, your ideas to make something that's more to do with the kind of artist that you are. And just have fun. Maybe you want to create a series with a lot of different animals coding hearts. You can give as gift to friends and family members. Okay, so I outlined, I really like the shape that it turned out to be for the animal, for the bear. Now I'm going to use my pencil. I'm going to go in circle in motion like this, not putting a lot of pressure, but just enough. And I'm going to fill in one area at a time. I never like to just draw it like this because then it miss, we miss some of the, the shapes as we're doing this. And I want the inside of the ear to be slightly darker. So I'm gonna put a little bit more pressure in it as I go in this space. Okay, so you see the difference using the same color, same pencil, just going over and filling in with a little bit more pressure. Now we're gonna keep it, that motion, that roundness motion keeping the same amount of pressure, which is not very, not much. I'm gonna leave the eyes and the nose blank for now. And if I get some on top of it, I don't, I'm, I'm okay with it because I know I'm gonna color with a different color. It's gonna be darker, um, probably black. So I know I'll be able to cover and color on top. On the edges over here, I'm gonna put a little bit more pressure to show it's more a 3D shape and it gives that texture for the bear that I think it's really, really cool. So right on the edges, close where the heart is, I'm just gonna to touch with that brownish caramel color a little bit harder to bring this color to look slightly darker. And that's our shading way to show through dimensionality, that illusion right below the eyes. I can make it kind of fluffy here too, around the nose at the bottom, right there. Now put a lot more pressure here to make it darker inside of the ears. And then keep the same pressure throughout the face and the other ear for the back, for the bottom, the top, <laughs> the outside. Okay. So we have a lovely bear. Just look around and see if we need any touch-ups. Right here on the ear is gonna look slightly darker here. We have some shading to give that idea of three-dimensionality. So now right here where the shoulder is, I'm gonna make it slightly darker because it's almost like on the back of the heart. So we see some shading, some going on. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. It's going to be a little bit darker here because the heart is giving that shadow. It's blocking the light from coming on this side. Okay. Then the same thing on the one I have here at the bottom. Before I do the pause, I just go for these small little spaces over here. I love the texture he puts on the paper with the color pencil. So it gives that fluffiness a little fur. Okay, so now I'm going to outline and get this to look a little bit more sharp. Okay, I'm going to outline these marks. It's they're going to be a different color, maybe a darker brown or even black. And then filling in the, the paw. Okay. 
I'm going to do this for all of the four, the four that I have here. I'm keeping a similar approach to what I did inside the ears, but not as much, not as dark, not a lot of pressure. Just thinking of the cuteness of this little bear. Maybe instead of just being a heart, it can be a box of chocolate. Hmm. I love chocolate. That would be really, really nice. I would love a gift like that. Good chocolate in a heart-shaped box. Hmm. Let me get this. Okay. If you feel like your hands are getting tired of all the pencil coloring, take a break, press pause and come back when you're ready. I say this because my hands are starting to get a little bit like tired. <laughs> I just love doing this so much and I am so excited to see what my students are doing that I don't even I don't even pay attention anymore when my hands are like oh my gosh I've been coloring all day yeah so we have this adorable adorable bear holding this beautiful box that I'm gonna say it's a box of chocolate um, now I'm gonna put this color aside I'm gonna keep it close to me if I need to do any touch-ups but I think I'm gonna go with black now for the eyes the nose and the print on the paw. So I'm gonna, you can use markers, you can use anything you want. I'm doing color pencil just to keep the same um, kind of material on the bear. I like to outline it first and then go inside, always rounding up. I don't go up and down and side to side. I keep it like the same motion as the object, as the shape. Here too. I'm going to press a little bit harder on the edges. And then at the top, the very center of the nose, I'm going to apply a little less pressure to look slightly lighter. That gives the impression of three dimensionality too. It's not. You, have, you guys don't have to if you don't want to. Just want to give a little touch. And then I have this line in the middle, dividing the mouth from the nose. Isn't that looking at the, oh my goodness. Yeah. So now I'm going to go do the same thing I did with the eyes. I'm going to do with the paw prints, this little mark. So we have it at the, the bottom here, outlining and filling in, going in, keeping the shape. Keeping the shape. And feel free to also and always to use different colors. Maybe you want to do um, use all the colors of the rainbows, or maybe you want to keep a monochromatic bear. You want to do maybe brown for the paws, or if you're using purples, just keep it with the same purple like colors. Um, you can do cool colors, warm colors. There's so many ways that we can approach color scheme on our work, right? See how the colors work together. Try it out on a piece of paper first and see how the colors will work close to one another. Think about colors for Valentine's that would make sense as well. Okay. So I think they're looking really good. Feel free if you, I feel like, I think I'm gonna use color pencil to outline. Maybe I'm gonna do color pencil to outline the heart. Maybe I want, I wanna do a Sharpie just to mix and match a little bit. I think it's looking adorable. And I'm gonna use uh, a Sharpie to also outline the lines that I had for the words that I put in here. So I have, I, Gonna go as I still see the the pencil lines. So I'm just gonna go over and outline. 
and then you I think you're looking really nice and then I'm going to outline the heart with that same gently we can outline the entire drawing to make it pop if you guys want to it's super optional see how that's going to look on mine and then we can make a decision together let's see I really love that the heart is showing and is popping. I don't think I need to outline the bear with black. Maybe if I get just a darker brown, see this is the color I was using before. Now this is a little bit darker. Maybe I can outline with that darker one. Yeah, I think that gets a little bit darker and darker enough that it's not black. So I still see the bear but it detaches from the skin, the color of the fur a little bit more. So it's all about trying and testing really and seeing how we feel. Get the inside of the ears too. On the outside, make sure that I don't miss any, any line. Adorable. And if you want with some white, we can make a little spark here and here. I have this white color pencil. Um, I can do the same thing at the top of the nose over here. Or if you have a white marker like this, it works really well in having it there and at the top of the nose. So now it's up to you if you want to color the background or just keep it like this. I'm going to keep it mine like this because I think it's, it's looking so, so good. Super simple, but you can use marker to go around. You can use even watercolor to paint the background. You can use another color pencil and just have it there, maybe a nice blue. Um, purple. Um, so use your imagination and see how that's going to be uh, like the best work that you, the best effort that you can put it on your work. And I'm just going to bring a little close up. My bear is looking amazing. I love the heart and I cannot wait to get the chocolates inside the box. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is our Valentine's bear. Uh, project really fluffy you can use any kind of supplies if you want to do this with watercolor is a good one with uh, acrylic paint it's a good one too I like how the color pencils and the markers are so accessible and they mess free so you guys can do it at home and pretty much any place and create beautiful greeting cards for valentine's and also you can do this to decorate your house can you imagine having a little work from you uh, framed and you have it on the table as you're having breakfast uh, on Valentine's uh, before you go to school. That would be a really nice way to decorate your house. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys soon on our next class. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day and happy Valentine's.